Did you know that plants produce defensive polyphenols when they're in stressful situations, such as drought, excessive sunlight, nutrient changes, etc.? So what happens to us when we eat vegetables such as kale, broccoli and cauliflower that have been exposed to these particular conditions? Well, that's what we're going to explore in this video. This whole topic is called hormesis, and it's also present in humans, where short, intermittent bursts of certain stresses can actually trigger a cascade of cellular processes that enhance our overall health, slow down ageing and make us more resilient to future stress. Hormesis appears to be a common thread underlying many of the health benefits associated with things like cold exposure, intermittent fasting, heat exposure and high intensity interval training. In a recent interview, Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org made the statement that broccoli puts stress on our body. So let's take a listen to that clip and then we'll come back and look at a few other foods that can stress our body and what to look out for when choosing certain foods. If you find this video interesting and helpful, please do hit the like button. So hormesis is this concept, you know, that which doesn't kill us makes us stronger, like small stresses. So, for example, you know, you give tiny amounts of herbicides to plants that actually grow better. You're like, wait a second, that's a toxic, it should kill plants. But what it does is it boosts the plant defenses and actually um, enables them in the long run. Some exercise is a classic example of hormesis. You actually put stress on your body, but then in the recovery, you're actually better than you were off before. People think of green tea as being antioxidant rich. No, it's actually pro-oxidant. What it does is it ramps up our antioxidant defenses to, to battle it and in doing so actually um, we end up with a better total antioxidant status. Um, broccoli simile, uh, broccoli puts a stress on the body and our body in reacting with stress ramps up our detoxifying enzymes in our liver and in our airways and we've been able to basically hijack or commandeer some of their you know antioxidant defenses. I mean they are literally you know, out there baking in the sun. Why don't they sunburn? Why isn't their DNA damaged? That well, they're just packed with antioxidants, right? The chlorophylls, because there's this firestorm of photosynthesis baking all day long. Um, think of, you know, a fruit sitting out. It's, it's not in a fridge. It's baking out in the orchard. How does it not rot? How, well, it must be filled with all these, you know, antibacterial components and all that. And so we can take advantage of the fact that they are, you know, kind of nature's chemistry set. So they make this multiplicity of chemical defenses that we can then take advantage of because we have very similar, there's heat stresses, there's oxidant stresses, many of the same signaling pathways. They fight off bacteria. So that's what the xeno is from xeno or alien or other. So it's like we are using their compounds, let them get all stressed out. Um, and then we can take advantage of those kind of anti-stress compounds, um, which act very similarly in our body. The glucosinolates in broccoli sprouts are thought to activate beneficial phase 2 detoxification enzymes by way of something called the NRF2 pathway. Curcumin from turmeric, resveratrol from berries, allicin from garlic and quercetin from red and purple onions are all considered xenohormetic nutrients. It's thought that plants exposed to more stress in their environment will produce the highest levels of these beneficial compounds and a good general rule is to look for bright colours. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.